What's up guys, it's me, your badass here, it's Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword walkthrough. Okay, so, in this episode, it's gonna be a little bit shorter than the last one. Because, yeah, you guys already know, the last episode kind of talked your ear off about the history of this channel right here while capturing a buttload of Pokemon. So in this one right here, we're just gonna be finishing off this whole tutorial thing right here. I'm doing the quotations with my fingers. And, uh, yeah, we're going to keep on moving on right here. Now, in our last episode, we managed to capture some of the Pokemon that we've had in previous generations, such as, let's see, Bonesaw, Aaliyah, Sparky's another one, Michael, uh, not Michelangelo, uh, who else? Shedder. Yes, all these Pokemon that we, we've had in the past, well, they're here. They are finally here. So, what we're going to do right now is... I'm gonna tr I'm gonna heal my Pokemon and then we're gonna be continuing on right right ahead right here. I think this is Moto Stoke. I think, yes. Oh, and of course the lady right here is gonna be like. By the way, you may be able to see some rare Pokemon at the Wedgehurst Station now. Eventually, when you go back to Wedgehurst, you're gonna be seeing a little bit more Pokemon than usual. You know, a little more rare and all that stuff. And uh, well, let's go right ahead and take a look around of Moto Stoke and see what it has to offer. It's the only thing that we're going to be doing today. Again, guys, in the last episode, I did talk to you guys about the history of my channel because, yes, we are continuing our 10-year anniversary right here on YouTube as Gym Leader Draven once was Draven XE 711 So, brilliant young trainer who's braved the wild area, do you remember what your goal in Motosoak is? Uh, <laughs> no, but I'm going to go with the first option right here. Yep, the Gym Challenges Opening Ceremony. Okay, so let's see. We are following the new girlfriend right here. And, well, we have to go all the way down there. Look at that. By the way, the ceremony tomorrow is being held at Motostoke Stadium, okay? The heck is that? Use that lift over there to get to the stadium, okay? Alrighty, okay, so we're going to get there. And, well, laters, I'm going to swing uh, by the shops while I'm here. But don't forget to register at the stadium, okay? Alrighty. Of course, she is talking like, you know, kids nowadays and all that stuff. Of course, I'm 30 and don't really talk that way anymore. Really don't. Anywho, uh, let's see. Is there anything we need to check out here first? Now, there are quite a few things that you can actually find. That's what I, exactly what I'm going to do is you talk to this guy. Actually, nothing happens. But you see something shiny right here. Bam. You find yourself a Pokeball, which is nice. Uh, I believe you talk to this kid. Nothing. Okay. So, yeah, like I was saying, guys, last episode, I talked your ear off, talked about the, the, the history of this whole thing. Right here, we're going to be getting into the uh, opening ceremony and all that stuff, but before we do anything, we're just going to grab some items. That way we don't forget. And uh, from there, that, that's pretty much how it is going to be. Um, I don't think, I don't think that I'm going to be battling, or I think I will be battling just one time. And as you can see right here, Motosuke is something else. What other city has a lift that takes you between the upper and lower districts? So, that basically means that you can't go through this area right now. So, yeah, we're going to have to make our way to the center of the whole thing. And, uh, let's see. Is there anything interesting around here? Yes, there is a place where you can actually do your hair. Uh, there is a shop for clothes and all that stuff. And what else? I think there's a TR shop right here, but here we have... Yeah, we have a coffee shop right here. Now, yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and battle. Every single time you go into the battle cafe, you will be able to battle one of the, uh, cap or you'll be able to battle the guy right here. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. It's not going to be all tutorial. You know, I'm just going to, I'm going to show you something. Uh, I'm just going to show you some battles and all that stuff. And of course, he's coming out with a female combi. Very rare to have. And yeah, I came out with a very... Very, very perfect Pokemon for this guy. So here we go. Tech attack for the win. Suck it, Combi. Alrighty, okay, alrighty. And look at that. Our Pokemon growing levels. And that's pretty much it right there. <laughs> I hope that battle was a delicate, sweet taste for you. Oh, really, man. I was actually expecting a little bit more than just one Pokemon. Well, let's see. That, that, was, a, that, that was a battle exquisite as a glass of lemonade. Here's a, here's a treat that I promise. And you will get yourself a rare candy. And as many of you guys already know, rare candies 
It's life. It levels up your Pokemon. It is awesome. Okay, so that is that right there. And I believe if you talk to this guy, this is the TR shop, I believe. Could be wrong. Oh, you're a Pokemon trainer. Here, let me give you something nice. Trying to uh, Try using it on a Pokemon. And here we get ourselves the TR-13 Focus Energy. Helps us, you know, helps the user de take a deep breath, focuses so that it can critical hits land more easily. TRs are vintage. You can use them to have your Pokemon learn rare moves. They break after one use too, which is also extra old school. Yeah, it's kinda, it, it, it really is old school, guys. I mean, it's taking you back to the first through, I would like to say, fourth generation? Fifth generation? I think they became unlimited, right? Yeah, they became unlimited after that, so... Gonna be going right here, and uh, is there any, let's see, I don't think these shops offer off anything, I don't think, yeah, there's really nothing that you can do right here, look at that, there's a bookshop right here, so many books, the yeah, ad says that the magazine is a special feature on all the gym leaders is most popular, hmm, okay, and then, well, there's really nothing right here, I think this is another TR shop, no, no, this is just a record shop, and here we have this guy, he's like, here, let me give you these high-tech earbuds, Oh, no need to thank me, just a whim. And we get ourselves a high-tech earbuds. And what these do are strange earbuds that allow you to freely control the volume of various sounds. Do you know that uh, do you know what the what's so high-tech about these high-tech earbuds? When you put them on your ears, they actually let you control the sounds of your surroundings. You can even make them stop specific sounds, like Pokemon cries. Hmm. Which is true, because sometimes you know, it gets a little annoying when you hear the same thing over and over and over again. And, well, the, let's see. I want to say if you talk to this lady right here, she will give you something, right? No, nothing. All right, so it's time for us to go straight right here. And before we even get on there, <laughs> we're here in a grar. Who might that be? Oh, look at that. It's Charizard and our good old uh, buddy Leon right here, yeah. I'd surely never make it to the stadium without you to show me the way, partner. Even with a huge hole thing like this bang, this bang in the in the middle of the sitting, I still get lost. Man, you must be really slow then. Draven, all right. One look, uh, look, one look tells me that you've become a trainer worthy of the endorsement I gave you. And yes, I reckon you might even be ready to use this. Here, try giving this to one to this. Uh, try giving this to your partner to hold. And we get ourselves a Miracle Seed. Of course, if you've chosen any other ones, it will give you a Mystic Water or a Charcoal to power them up. And, well, as you can see, an item held by a Pokemon is a seed imbued with Life Force that boosts the power of Grass-type moves. You can make that, uh, you can take that lift up to the city's upper level if you're headed for the stadium next. Look at that, okay. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing. We're going to be going up here, and uh, we got to get the, that stadium challenge ready. So here it is, Moto Stoke Stadium right here. Big, big. Now, here's an individual that will actually give you Pokeballs every single time you see him at every single gym. Homeboy here is like, ta-da! You took the time to walk to, the Pokeball, to a Pokeball, so you deserve a little reward. He gives you a Pokeball. Now, in different gyms, he'll be giving you... Uh, Pokeballs that you would normally see in Johto, like Level Ball, Heavy Ball, Love Ball, and all that crud. Yeah, you'll be finding them right there. In case you were wondering, I'm not just any old Pokeball. But who am I, you ask? Well, the answer is simple. They call me the Ball Guy. That is true. Okay, so let's go right ahead and meet up with uh, this guy right here. You made it too! Motostoke Stadium. This is where, oh, where the opening ceremony will be held. Everybody will be watching the opening ceremony for the gym challenge. My mom, your mom, the whole world. It's getting to me. It's getting me a little bit nervous, really. Nah, this isn't nerves. I'm only trolling because I'm so excited. Come on, Draven. It's time the world learned our names. Let me guess. Another chapter in your in, in your legend. I'm just saying. I, I really am. Okay, so let's go into the Motostoke Stadium right here and, uh, you know, get this whole thing started. Again, guys, if you're playing this regularly without being a walkthrough artist like I am, yeah, this will take about a good hour or two because it's so much instruction and all that stuff. So here is Hop, and he would just, he's like this. Would you take a look at this 
the place is packed with gym challengers. Every one of these folks is, is another rival. Let's get signed up. Oh, well, okay, so he's going to get signed up right here. And there is an individual talking to the front desk person, and, uh... Yeah, this person does not look nice. <laughs> she bumped into him. <laughs> Suck it, Hop. Seriously, what a piece of work. If you're here to register for the gym challenge, I need you to see your endorsement, please. So, we're gonna... Get started with this whole endorsement, I guess. Look at this. We got endorsed by this guy's brother. Fancy that! This is the first time we've had a challenger endorsed by the champion. Well, now now you've had two because I am as well. What? Two of you at once? I wonder what, what's come over Leon this year. He's on crack. He only gave him an he only gave his brother his endorsement because, you know, brother. He thinks he's good and all that stuff, but. You know, we'll, 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 we'll get used to that in the next few episodes and all that stuff. Let's see. The two of you must be something special. I'm Hop. I'm Leon's little brother. In fact, the next champion. I'm just sitting. I'm just standing right there and be like this, man. <laughs> cocky much? I'm pretty sure cocky much. Get me all signed up, would you? Well, yes, I'm trying to. If you'll just give me a moment. You see, even he notices how impatient this kid is. There, the two of you have been successfully registered as gym challengers. You can now choose your preferred number for your uniform if you'd like. If you'd be so kind, it'll be displayed on the back of your uniform. You must wear for any official match. Okay, so we get to choose a number. Me being so old school, uh, back when I played football, I had three numbers. High school, I wore number six. In college, I wore number 37, and in the semi-pros, I wore number 24, so, I don't know, I don't know, like, in, in Pokemon Sword, or in Pokemon Shield, I've already used the 37 number, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to be that guy, yes, I'm going to go back to the whole football mentality and all that stuff, yes, I'm going to be that guy, I'm going to put number 6, because single digits are pretty cool, so let's go ahead and use number 6, very well! Here, please take this challenge band at all times to identify yourself as a gym challenger. The opening ceremony for the gym challenge is uh, to be held here tomorrow. All the trainers taking part have been booked a room at the nearby Badoo drop-in. Seriously, dude, you need to calm down. That's the league chairman for you. Even booked us a hotel rooms. I'm off to check out the fancy digs. Oh, God. I mean... I swear to God, he, he's on pepper. He is on pepper, guys. Okay, so let's see. If you're looking for the Badoo and uh, let's see, you need, to, uh, need not to go far from the stadium. Head towards Route 3. It's along the way. Okay, so we need to get over to the Badoo Inn. And you know what? Hold on just a sec. We need to get back in there. Hold on. I need to get back in there. Before I do anything, there is something that I need to check up on. And that is talk to this person. I was endorsed by the chairman himself. In other words, among all of those elite enough to, to to get an endorsement, I'm the most elite at all of all. So why don't you clear off and not try talking to me again, would you? It's positively criminal of you wasting the time of someone as important as I am. <laughs> wow, man! <laughs> if there's anything I've noticed about this generation in this 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 region right here is that the rivals are cocky as hell. They are smug. Well, I'm about to, you know, I'm about to give him a, a little slice of humble pie. So, you know what? Let's go right ahead. And, well, homeboy here is looking at us. He's like, you must be a challenger dragon. The Badoo drop-in is uh, down this way, if you would be so kind to of follow me. All right. So, we're walking. We're going to be going that way. So, we're going to do the pimp walk. That's right. Pimp strut. Pimp walk. That's right. Let's go. Okay, so enough pip walking and all that stuff. So the Badoo Inn is right here. Challenger Draven, we have arrived to the Badoo Drop Inn. Look at that, look at that. It's a nice hotel. Try to get some rest and build your strength for what's to come. Okay, alrighty. I'm in. I'm feeling good. Alright, let's go inside and, uh, well. We're gonna be, uh,. Entering this place, and would you look at that? 
That is a pretty cool statue. It's a damn good looking statue. Hiya! Looks like you both got yourselves registered. Oh, hey, Sonya. What are you doing in our, at our hotel? I'm researching the mysterious Pokemon that you said to be in the slumbering well, a wield. I reckon if I look into some of Galar's legends, I, can, I might figure out something out, or I might figure something out. Care to join me? You're here already anyway. Well, I am going to listen to you no matter what. What's this then? It's a statue of the hero who once saved the Galar region. I could run through the legend right, uh, right quick, if you fancy. Uh, sure. Give me all the details. I need to learn. So here we go. Long ago, a great black storm covered the Galar region. People called it the darkest night or the darkest day. The land was assaulted by a gigantic Pokemon, but they were defeated by a single young hero bearing a sword and shield. This statue here is meant to depict the young hero of that legend. We still don't understand what kind of sword and shield the hero may actually had. And what this black storm is supposed to be is just another mystery. Whatever it was, it blotted out the skies all across Galar. I suppose that tracks with uh, being called the darkest day. But still... Huh. I suppose that hero must have been about as strong as Lee then. Looks like you're going to you're going to have your hands full with plenty of research though, Sonya. Black storms and swords and shields and all. Yeah, I'm I'm you know, me me, I'm a supportive boyfriend. Screw this guy. I'm gonna be like this. You'll be alright, Sonya. <laughs> Thanks. I'll muddle through so, uh, somehow. Don't you worry. You two are sta you two are staying here at the hotel tonight though, aren't you? Shouldn't you uh, check in? Yep. Probably so. And we'll look out for you too, Sonya. If we hear anything about a hero or whatnot, we'll tell you. Okay, so... I guess we're gonna have to check in and... Uh, what is going on right here? This looks like to me like another battle right here. Now, I'm going to be switching up a little bit of something right here. Just a little bit of something. So, in the last episode, I managed to capture... Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, six... Six new Pokemon, or six Pokemon that were uh, in recent, in, in, uh, in original teams and all that stuff. And this is the Eevee that, yeah, this is the Eevee that I, the, the special Eevee that I don't need to keep, you know, further behind. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move Shedder in here, and I'm actually going to switch out, wow, nearly burped. I'm going to switch out Aaliyah for the time being, and yeah, we're going to be taking care of business right here. Let's see. So something's going on. These guys in Mohawks are blocking the way. We came all the way down to this big city that we could properly cheer our gym challengers. Team Yell is here to help it after all. You're in for a battle if you want to stop us. I'm up for that. Okay, so... Whoa. Ho, 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 whoa. What is... Uh, what is this? Wow, what the heck is that? <laughs> Didn't we tell you, mate? You get in our way, you're in for a battle. Team Yell's about to be helping. Helping one very special trainer win the gym. We want to make sure she gets cheered on nice and proper. And now you're going to help us make some noise. Okay, so... Uh... <laughs> so here we have Team Yell Grunt. And I... Do oh. So are these guys... <laughs> Are these guys the criminals? Are these guys the criminal syndicate of this group? I, I, I'm a little confused right now. I really am. And well, he came out with a zigzagoon. I'm going to be switching up to Shedder because I kind of predicted that this was it was going to happen. Plus, Shedder is a very very good fighting type Pokemon. So here we have Shedder back from Unova, and oh crap, we're gonna get licked right here. Not very much effective, and uh, luckily for us, we do have a fighting type attack. So. Here we go, sweep the leg, suck at Zigzagoon. Alrighty, look at that. Okay, and our Pokemon are growing level. Balto is learning a new move, which is Roar. I am going to keep the old moves because Roar's not that effective, and just like that, we <laughs> defeated this guy. Went for went looking for a fight and I lost. I'm so pathetic. Oh wow, okay, so Team Yell, really? <laughs> Oi! 
give me a break here. Team Yell, get revenge for me, would ya? Uh. So it's say that you're a Sheila, right? Ozzy man, we got a screaming Sheila right here. Of course, I've got the uh, I got you covered, mate. What could be better than a battle in a lovely motel hall lobby or hotel lobby? What's the difference between hotel and motel? I do not know. And what the hell? What's that on our flag? Okay, so here we go, going up against a female team, uh, team yell grunt, and uh, look at that, they got that little fox thing going on, so, here we go, it is time, and, well, let's go with a fury attack, and, oh wow, quick attack right there, this, this looking Pokemon is getting its, uh, butt kick right here, so we go in it again for a fury attack, and that was two times, wow, alright, let's continue the fury attack, and, well, another, Quick attack, gonna do that, and look at this, another quick attack, or no, not a quick attack, a fury attack, and will this guy finish him off? Yes, he will, look at that. Okay, alrighty, and Nikit has fainted, and we get more experience points, and look at that, we defeated another Team Yell member. I must have uh, gotten all carried away being in this swanky hotel and all. Sorry for getting in your way. Wow, they apologized. Okay, so I'm, I'm a little confused. Are you guys criminals or are you guys just hoodlums or something? Hoodlums. Crumbums. I do not know. Oh man, that swanky sophisticated Aryan here had me all off my game. I couldn't keep my cool. I wasn't expecting to check in and it would be such a big fuss, Draven. What's going on? Sneaking in some Pokemon battles without me? Don't you think we can get ahead of, or you can get a, or don't, don't think that you can get ahead of me that easily. I need to get some training in it, so I'm joining. Here, I'll even heal up your Pokemon too. Well, I could do things myself, but, you know, some of these games, they just require you to have a team partner, all that stuff. I'm Hop, one of the year's uh, gym challengers, and the one who's going to be the next champion. Now, let's have us, let, it, let, it, let us have a nice two-on-two. Okay, so here we go, the final battle, and you know what, a two-on-two, two, finally, um, yeah, I, I, again, I don't need to battle with Hop, and, oh, God, uh, I'm, I'm gonna say this right now, guys, I, I'm, Hop is not, Hop is not rubbing me the right way right now, he is a smug little bastard right now, so, What's going to happen here is I'm actually going to switch out my Pokemon. Let's go back to Shedder since we do have the power to actually beat these guys in one fell swoop. He does his, he does have his uh, his little roly poly Pokemon right here. And here we have a quick attack onto Wulu. Here comes another tackle attack. Love the way how like I love the way how how like Wulu's tackle attack looks like a rollout attack. And uh, well, would you look at that? My special attack just fell. And, well, let's go with the low kick. Finish this Nikit off. But here comes a quick attack. Trying to finish that Wulu right here. Here we go. Sweep the leg. Say goodbye to Nikit. Ooh, yeah. Okay, alrighty. And would you look at that? Shedder has Moxie. <laughs> I, did get my, I did get my Shedder. And here comes a tackle attack to the Zigzagoon. And here comes another Snarl attack. And this one doesn't do much, but you know what? It's giving us a little bit of a, a bad effect right here. So, let's see. Let's go right ahead and use a low kick onto Zigzagoon. You know, I would do it on a, I would do it on the, on a Wulu just to be, you know, spiteful to uh, to Hop. But oh God, it would make me into a bad guy. I would be the worst bad guy ever. <laughs> so there it is. We defeated another uh, group of Team Yell grunts right here. Look at these guys. I really do love their Mohawks and all that stuff. I'm only assuming that they are modeled after soccer hooligans. I could be wrong, though. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, England does it. England does it better. They really do. Soccer hooligans are are way better over there. I mean, here in the United States, soccer, football, uh, the so-called soccer hooligans here. Yeah, they're not really soccer hooligans. They try to be. <laughs> so. Guess it was the defeat that I had heard coming. I think I'm about to cry. Oh wow! Oh damn! Okay, so they're scared. And uh, who might you be? What are you doing here, Marnie? N nothing. We we was just. 
I know you were all ter terribly curi uh, curious about the other gym challenges, but you gotta show a bit of restraint. Wow, it's their master, and it ooh, would you look at that? I think I found myself another girlfriend here in Galler. <laughs> Sorry about them. They're just a bunch of my fans. Call themselves Team Yell and follow me around cheering for me. I think, I think they've let it all go to their heads a bit. Really. So are you the leader, or are you just? I, I, I just, I, I really don't get it. I, I don't know. Come on, you lot. Back home with you now. Okay, so let's see. They're just so caught up in wanting to support me and all that they had to tend to get a little shirty with the other gym challengers. Sorry if they caused you any trouble. So you're a gym challenger too? Team Yell, was it? Pretty impressive that you already have a set of fans to call your own. Oh wow, she, she looks lovely. Okay, so let's see. They just got up wanting to support me and all. Okay, so she already said this. I'm gonna go right here. And we'll talk to this guy. He's gonna be like, good evening and welcome to the Badoo drop in. You must be one of the uh, the Pokemon trainers entering to the gym challenge. Yes, I am. Yes, young Master Draven. I see that the league has booked you, booked a room for you. And if I might, thank you for helping us uh, out of all the sticky situations with the those hooligans earlier. I hope you have a pleasant stay here with us. Sleep well. Well, this is what happened, and look at that. We're all healed up, feeling good, fresh, pretty buff. Look at that. And, yeah, this guy right here just practicing on his throw. Morning! So this is it. Now my legend really begins. Again, bro, what legend? And why? Okay, and you know what? I'm not even going to go... I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna push that button. Watch out, Draven! I'll beat you at Moto Silk Gym or Stadium. Yeah, he's really he he, <laughs> he really yeah. He's really making Barry look good. He's making yeah. He's making Barry look very very good. I mean, shoot. Okay, so enough me complaining about Hop. And here we have this guy right here. He's like Gym Challenger. The opening ceremony is starting soon. Please allow me to escort you to the gym stadium. Okay, alrighty. Let's go. Yes. Alright, follow close and be careful not to lose sight of me. How fast could you be? We've made it to the stadium entrance. Please hurry to the uh, opening ceremony. Okay, alrighty. So, let's go right ahead and uh, take care of uh, what's going on right here. And, well, Moto Stoke. You gotta love it. And here we have another smug asshole. I don't know who you are, but don't really care. Let's go straight to the entrance, and of course Hop is waiting for us. You talk to this guy, and he's like, Challenger Draven, wasn't it? We must ask that the uh, gym challengers wear their uniforms for the all official events. The opening ceremony marks the beginning of a gym challenge, so you know what that means. That's right. I'll need you to get changed as well. Alrighty, so we got our uniform. We're going to go in here get changed and would you look at that the number six good old Draven looking like a boss look at that look at that number six wonderful you look sharp as a pin and that six there that really is the number for you now we're ready at last for the opening ceremony for this year's gym challenge all right Whoa, okay, so, as you can see, it's starting, guys. Wow, this is a sight. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Rose, chairman of the Pokemon League. I know that everyone that's gathered here and everyone who's watching home all have been watching for this big moment. It is my pleasure to announce that finally the Gala Region Gym Challenge will now begin. Yes, the gym challenge. Participants must defeat the eight gym leaders. And gather the eight gym badges to prove skills as a trainer. Only the most worthy will have the honor to challenge the greatest champion in history. Now, I would like to invite the gym leaders to show themselves.
Oh, wow. Okay. Um, where are they? <laughs> this is pretty cool. they never done this in the other generation, so whoa! <laughs> oh, damn. Okay. <laughs> All right. The Fighting Farmer. Here's the Grass-type expert, Milo. The Raging Wave. The, it's the Master of Water Types, Nessa. The ever-burning man of fire. Here comes the fire-type veteran, Kabu. The Gallic Karate Prodigy. Nobody's better at fighting-type Pokemon than B. The master of the Fantastic Theater. It's the charming fairy-type user, Opal. The Hard Rock Crusher. Please welcome the Rock-type master, Gordy. And last but not least, the Tamer of Dragons. It's Ryan, the type, or the top gym leader. Unfortunately, we're missing one. But these are the gym leaders that we in the Gala region are proud to call our own. Yeah. Who are they missing? Is it the G ghost type? Or is it team? Oh, I don't even know. Huh. <laughs> I can do a pretty good entrance, guy. And he Oh, wow. Here we go. Look at this. Going into the stadium like pimps. That's right, people. I was made. I was made for the crowd. That's right. I'm throwing up my hands like I want more I want more but this is amazing guys wow like they really did a good job on hyping these uh hyping these gym leaders and all that stuff standing there on the pitch in the stadium in front of the everyone it really yeah I, there's really no words for it but I can barely contain myself my heart's racing you made it at last hop and you too, Draven. Look at this guy. So, you're the two trainers our champion endorsed himself. Welcome, and it's a delight to meet you. I'm Rose, of course. Or is it Rose? No, he doesn't have the squiggly on that thing. Oh, and what is this? I see you both already possess Dynamax bands. How wonderful. It seems that you two have been led here by, gui by the guiding light of the wishing stars. By the way, it was my wonderful company that invented those Dynamax bands, you know. Uh-oh. You have a company? Oh, uh, crap. Guys, I think I figured out who the evil person in this whole game is. I just... I, I, I don't know. I dare say this year's gym challenge is looking to be an absolute blast. Very good. Very good indeed. That means the whole Gala region is in for some excitement. The Gym Challenge is an excellent opportunity to show off Dynamax Pokemon. Now, I'm terribly, I'm terribly sorry, but there is something urgent, uh, some urgent business I need to attend to, so I must be on my way. The best of luck to the both of ya. Okay, alright. Seriously, he has a company. It's usually the guy with the company that's a bad guy. I'm just saying. The chairman certainly seems to be in the high spirits. Now, listen close to you two. You both only started out on your path as trainers. If you want to win, you need to do more than just train your Pokemon. You need to train yourselves too. Uh oh, here we go. <laughs> you see, he's trying to turn Super Saiyan, but yeah, he's not worthy of being a Super Saiyan. Let's do it, Draven. You know the Gym Challenge has a set order that you've got to visit the gyms in, right? The first is in Turf Field, and then... And to get there, we need to we need to head to Route Three. Yeah, don't say. So here it is, guys. The gym challenge is an event in which aspiring trainers traveled around the Gala region to try and collect gym badges for eight of its gyms. To earn a gym badge, you have to complete that gym mission and also defeat its gym leader. <laughs> okay. Now, here's a little something, guys. A little bit of a, a little bit of a insight. So we are playing Pokemon Sword. Two of these gym leaders have been switched out for the Shield versions uh, gym leaders. I believe in in Shield you do have a an Ice type trainer replacing the Rock type gym leader, and I believe it's the Ghost type trainer replacing the Fighting type trainer. Don't quote me on that yet, but they, you know, both both versions unique in its own way and all that stuff. So. Let's get the heck out of here. I believe there's one little, I think one more little thing that they we still need to, you know, still need to talk about right here. I don't know. I feel, I kind of feel like somebody's going to stop us to, you know, introduce us to something else right here. I don't know. I could be wrong. 
Challenger Draven, the chairman asked me to deliver this gift to you. What could this gift be? A gift, such a wonderful thing from the chairman, such a wonderful man. <clears throat> Excuse me, this gift is access to the flying taxis. They allow you to, in a word, fly. Calling, calling a flying taxi will allow you to travel quickly back to areas you've already visited. So here it is, the flying taxis. If you use flying taxi service, one of their well-trained Corviknight will have you zipping across the Gala region to your de desired dest destination in no time at all. Just open up the X, me X menu, go use the town map, and choose where you want to go. If it's alright with you, I'll read a segment from the Flying Taxi's user manual. <clears throat> Press X and select the town map option to choose the place you'd like to go. Anyway, you, uh, your next your next goal should be uh, turf field, isn't it? Isn't it right, Draven? When tra or when traveling to a new place, it's best to get there on your own two legs, don't you think? I think so, yes. Okay, so that pretty much takes the whole fly technique away from uh, you know from this whole HM TM kind of thing. And well, I can't go that way. Actually, I can. Now, what is she? What is she talking about? So as you can see right here, this little guy or this home, this guy right here will eventually fly you around the whole area right here. And well, let's see. I would like to use a, I would like to use a flying taxi right now, but I kind of feel like we we still need to do something else right here. If I go a little bit further ahead, I don't know. I, I again, I feel it in my gut. I feel it in my gut that there there's something right here. Oh, there's another Pokemon Center right here too. Okay, so oh wait, here he is. <laughs> yeah, I thought I was gonna finish. There you are. I've been waiting. Let's have a battle, you and me, and we'll get uh, we'll get in a bit of training. Okay. Okay. I am not going to read what he has to say. I'm just going to just embarrass this guy. So here we go. Another battle against our rival Hop right here. And as always, he's going to be coming out with his best Pokemon, Wooloo. Not really his best Pokemon, but you know what I mean. And this guy's like, keep up, mate. This is our chance to see if we are up to the gym challenge. Eh, well, it is you that needs to keep up. So let's go right ahead and switch out to Shedder right here. And... Uh, just, just mop the floor with this guy. Just embarrass him. Like, make him feel shitty. I wish I could do that right here, but no, we have to be nice in every single little thing we do. So, yeah. Shame on me. So, here we go. Low kick on the Wooloo. Eat this. And Wooloo. Typical. Should have known you mastered match. Uh, or type matchup. So, here we go with a growl attack from Wooloo himself. I like his eyes. But guess what? Here we go with again. Low kick. Yeah, buddy. Finishes off Wulu. Alrighty, okay. So Wulu has been done, and here we get our Moxie. It's pretty cool. I would love to keep uh I would like to keep Shadow on my team for quite some time, but <laughs> it's not gonna happen. And it looks like Shadow Blade is learning Pluck. Now Pluck is the user picks the target. If the target is holding a berry, the, the user eats it and gains its effect. So, let's see. M, M, M. Yeah, I'm going to switch it out for uh, for Peck right here. So, one, two, and three. Here we go. We switched it out, and we got ourselves Pluck. Michelangelo grows to level 14 and is learning Protect. And he's about to come out with his Rookity. So, let's go right ahead. And finally use Balto for the first time right here. Normally we would use Aaliyah, but oh, uh, we... Again, we're going to try and use native Pokemon and then just destroy everybody with all our teams right here. So, here we go. Rookie D's unnerved, and... I'm going to tell you this right now. Look at look at my uh, look at my Balto's booty. He's got a cute booty. Kind of like a, my, 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 uh, my niece is a real-life poodle. Not really a poodle, but you know what I mean, guys. So here we go, nuzzle attack, and well, here comes the peck attack right here. Not so effective. And here comes the nuzzle attack. There we go, big booty, Balto. Big booty Balto paralyzes little Rookity right here. So here we go again. Nuzzle attack. Oh, yes. Definitely working. Super effective, and you are paralyzed. So time to finish this guy off with a little nuzzle attack again. Look at that, big booty Balto kicking some ass. 
Look at that. I think I found its nickname right there. <laughs> and Bonesaw grows to level 18 and is learning a Dragon Claw. Wow. Already we're... Yeah, already he's just strong as hell. So we're going to be switching out a move right here. Le uh, taking away Assurance. And, well, he's going to be coming out with a Sobble. Let's go ahead and use Optimus Prime right here. And uh, have our way with just about everything right here. Okay, so here is Optimus. And he's like, back into a corner. You got it all wrong, mate. This uh, this will be a victory, a good victory. Yeah, whatever. So here is his Sobble. Still looking pretty sobbly. But here we have a Razor Leaf attack. And look at that. Razor Leaf does it. Wins it. Eat it. Yeah, look at that. Our Pokemon are just super strong right here. So, there it is. We defeated our rival once again. <laughs> yeah, you better keep your guard up, homeboy. Okay, so let's see what happens right here. I wonder if I humbled him. Just what I expect from my rival. You know what? I'll even give you uh, one of my uh, elite cards. That's how good I'll think uh, uh, you did in battle. Okay, so we got his lead card, whatever. I'm gonna put it in our album. Our gym challenge starts now from here in Modestalk. Although the first gym leader will have to challenge into towns far off from here. Still, you better be uh, you better believe I'm going to keep on winning my way to the championship match. Hello, Geller, meet your next champion. From the sleepy town of Postwick, it's me, Hop. Wow, he's in for a rude awakening. <laughs> Okay, guys, so that was pretty much it right there. I know that there's other things that we need to do right here that, you know, like collect that Pokeball and all that stuff. I'm going to go back to the uh, regular or to the original Pokemon Center right here. Now, again, this is our 10 year anniversary. And again, I, I just want to say thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for making this possible, for staying with me for quite some time i've already read some of you guys's comments from the first few episodes here and you know what I i'm happy to keep continue doing this and uh well it, it can only it can only get better from here guys uh this right here is a is a huge step in my channel mainly because again i'm never i'm never up to date with most of the channels all the channels you see around youtube they're already on the this year's generation and all and for me to be on in Pokemon Sword and Shield right now, really close before the next games or the next installments come, it's a big, big thing. Now, I am going to, well, let's see, off screen, I am going to be training my Pokemon like crazy, might be capturing some more, hell, I, I kind of feel, okay, so here's the thing, chances are I might be evolving a Pokemon here and there. Yeah, there's a chance that I might be evolving a Pokemon here and there uh, if I'm if I'm training and all that stuff. So, there, chances are you might not see evolutions here in my channel and all that stuff. But just be assured that you will be seeing multiple Pokemon right here. Um, I will also be taking this time to actually, you know, capture and transfer some Pokemon from my Pokemon Shield game. That way, you know, my Pokedex is up to, to date and all that stuff. Um, anything else, guys, before I take off, I just want to remind you guys that, yes, Pokemon Gold is still, or Pokemon Heart Gold is still, is still going to come. It's now going to be a post-com, a post -com game because, well, some of you guys were complaining about the lagginess. Only way to take away the lagginess is if I played it and then do a post -com. So that is that. Uh, anything else, all day, every day, you're going to be seeing a Pokemon game right here on my channel. From Pokemon Gold, Heart Gold, or Pokemon Gold, Fire Red, and Sapphire, and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. And, uh, yeah. Pokemon X is going to be coming in here and there this upcoming week. But in the meantime, I'm going to be training like crazy just to get my team ready. Just to collect and do all these other stuff, too. Um, let's see. Before I do anything else, let's go ahead and take a look at our League card right here, guys. So... You guys are wondering, this is the League card, printed on, uh, well, December 17th. It has all my information. It's kind of like my trainer card right here. Now, let's go into our album. As you can see, we do have two, and one being Leon. You read this one right here. 
Leon is known far and wide uh, for taking part in the gym challenge at the tender age of 10 years old, and even more so by for claiming victory in the champion champion cup on its first attempt. Ever since that victory, he and his partner Charizard have remained unbeaten in both league and exhibition matches. He is called the unbeatable champion and is a hero to many trainers. He has but one weakness, a dismal sense of direction. But don't worry, wherever he ends up, he makes sure everyone uh, everyone has a champion time. And then, uh, well, let's see what... <laughs> okay, so here's Hop, and of course he thinks he's pretty badass. So what, what, what does this guy say? This Pokemon trainer got endorsed to take part in the Pokemon League challenge by his brother, the reigning champion, Leon. Hop claims to have watched all of Leon's matches. Comment commentators speculate that as a result, he might be a, quite a force to be reckoned with. The champion himself has said that his brother has potential, but his carefully hoarded knowledge can go to waste as he tends to easily get flustered in battle. It's said that uh, Hop's partner Wulu is a great help to, uh, to him both in battle and chores around the house. Huh. Okay. <laughs> I could throw the thing. I could. I could throw his thing away. Now, there's another thing too that you need to understand right here, guys. Wow, I was about to take off and forgot to, to say any of this stuff. So on the right side, right here, it says Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon up to level 20 will listen to you, and this trainer can catch Pokemon up to level 20. Now, if you guys may remember going into the wild area, you saw the big Pokemon. Here's the thing about that. You try to capture a level 25, level 30 Pokemon. At this stage right now, it's going to say a strong looking Pokemon has just appeared. And then if you try capturing them, it won't let you because, well, they are very stubborn. You're not up to their level right now. That is a very, very good way of monitoring pretty much, well, yeah, pretty much monitoring your, like, your leveling and all that stuff. Controlling what Pokemon you can, uh, you can actually capture and whatnot. Now, before I leave... I'm going to be doing this. Uh, let's go to the card make right here. Yes, we need to. We need to. We need to make this thing a little bit better. So let's see. First, let's go ahead and take a look. Let's see. Well, how about this one? Yeah, that one looks cool right there. Okay, so we're gonna be face. We're gonna be changing up our leak card right here. The effect. Let's see. There we go. I like flames. Never doubt the flames. And then that right there, yeah, that's not good. So we're going to keep that off. And then let's go to the next step right here. That's right, go to my chest. Let's see, go up right here. Oh, oh, yeah. We're just going to we're just gonna look at my chest because my chest is so wonderful. But let's see, let's go, let's see, uh, change expression. Okay, so let's go with the change expression. Me, whenever I take a picture, let's see, I never really smile. Let's see. That's a good, yeah, here we go. There we go, that's a good picture. Okay, so let's see, change pose. Oh, great. How about this pose, guys? <laughs> okay, so what if I took that pose, guys? Angry face looking at you like, I'm going to destroy you. Oh, I like this one. Okay, I like this one. But let's take a look at the other ones right here. Yeah, I'm walking away. I'm walking away after I defeat you. You are not worthy of my time. Oh my god. You have besmirched me. You have besmirched me a lot. We shall battle. I am looking down on you. I am looking at, down on you and you are nothing. <laughs> and this one. Let me bedazzle you. Let me, let me be fantastic in this battle right here for you. And then this one. Yeah, we're just plain, simple, and all that stuff. But I like the Super Saiyan one right here. We have the flames in the back, looking all golden. We're looking mean. Yes, I like that pose. And then, hold on just a sec. Hold on just a sec. Okay, we gotta, we, we gotta go back. Uh, yeah, buddy. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun on this stuff right here. So, let's go with, uh, like, that. And, let's see. So, the next step... You know what? Let's go with a matte coating. No, actually, matte coating's not going to be good. Oh, you know what? Matte coating's going to be good. And let's print. Okay, so there it is, guys. We got ourselves a new trainer card. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Looking like a pimp. Number and everything. Okay, so 
let's go ahead and flip this card. As you can see, this also monitors the amount of Pokemon you have and when you started this game. And, well, I have 23 Pokemon. Shiny Pokemon haven't found not one Shiny Pokemon. Oh, man. I am, uh, yeah, I, I got a lot of work to do. So, anywho, guys, like I was saying, I got a lot of plans for this game right here. Um, I got a lot of plans for this game, and I cannot wait. Uh, if you guys are wondering about my friend code, it's right there down below on the description. It's going to be there for the remainder of this whole thing. And, uh, yeah. Uh, if you guys are wondering how many times per week are we gonna, or how many times per the week are we gonna showcase Pokemon Sword and Shield? Well, for this upcoming week, Christmas is coming up, so I'm going to do my best to actually upload another three episodes on Christmas. In the meantime, I'm going to try and capture some Pokemon here and there, level up, uh, get things squared away. That way, you know, I feel comfortable moving on to the next route right here. Uh, all the instructional thing. All the instructional things that you know should have uh, should have been done in three episodes is now done, guys. So cannot wait. Finally, we can go out there and finally do our thing in the, in the Gala region. Other than that, guys, again, can't say I can't say it enough. Thank you guys for ten years on YouTube. Thank you. I am very very thankful. Very very uh, thankful for everybody who has uh, subscribed to me, who has liked my videos and all that stuff. And yeah. I will continue doing this until, you know, it's finally time to call it quits. And that might be never. So here's to another 10 years, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope you enjoyed the last few ones. I will see you guys in the next one. See you guys.